everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am no species and in this video today we'll be talking about how long does ovulation last in case you know what the video on ovulation to know about the definition of ovulation and also to get good knowledge about menstrual cycle as a general topic please do well to search for it on the same channel and watch it Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and do well to like and drop comments on my video. Thank you. And if you are returning to viewer plus subscriber on this channel, I am saying thank you. So back to the topic of discussion. First, that ovulation is release of a matured ovum from the ovary. And now, from the previous topic, I have I've already discussed that and what you need to know about ovulation. So please, if you are yet to watch that video, kindly watch the video so that you'll be able to synchronize the information there and what will be given in this video today. So ovulation is a monthly activity for a woman and for women who are pregnant, they no longer ovulate. So the reason why you ovulate is because you're, you can actually get pregnant. In women who are not ovulating, they can't get pregnant. Women who are not ovulating, example of such category of women are menopausal women. Women who are already experiencing menopause no longer ovulate. And as such, they can't get pregnant because we have a particular number of eggs we are giving birth to at birth and these are the eggs that grow to maturity and they further get mature they get released if there's fertilization it's then used to pregnancy and if fertilization does not occur this egg tend to degrade it's what you get as the normal menstruation which is the shedding of the uteral lining and removal of this degraded matured released over from the uterus so how many days does ovulation take or how many hours how long does ovulation take foreign or strange to somebody that is why we are here on this channel so today we'll be telling you how long ovulation lasts so that you'll be able to utilize this information for those who are trying to conceive and also for those who are trying to avoid getting pregnant this information is very vital because with this you'll be able to save your stress, self the stress of getting pregnant or welcome pregnancy with your full chest so ovulation like i said happens on the day 14th for a 28 day cycled person for someone like me, I have a 28 day cycle. I usually ovulate on the day 14th. It might be different for individuals because there are some individuals who have a shorter or a longer menstrual cycle. And these I've already discussed in the previous video. So if I yet to watch those other videos that I spoke about the length of menstrual cycle, please kindly do that so that you'll be able to know which or which day or how many days is your cycle and on what day are you ovulating so that this will save you the stress of either getting pregnant or children that you'll be able to get pregnant at your desired time basically during ovulation one egg is being released for some individuals more than one egg is being released within 24 hours this will bring us to ovulation lasts for one day it's the duration is from 12 to 24 hours so the ovo now is only viable that's the matured release egg is viable from 12 to 24 hours so it needs to be utilized within from the time it was released to 24 hours so it should be utilized within that day and that is why it is important that for couples who are trying to get pregnant they are supposed to meet either two to three days before ovulation because the sperm can survive in the body of a woman for like five days. So if you have inter two to three days before ovulation, your chances of getting pregnant is very high. So you utilize the period of ovulation in order to get pregnant. Why for individuals that are 
well, they are trying to avoid pregnancy on the day of ovulation and a few days before ovulation intercourse should also be avoided as this will lead to pregnancy so ovulation is a one day activity in the life of a woman do not think you can only get pregnant one day in a month that's where you'll be getting it wrong in a month you have six days fertility window to get pregnant that is if there is sperm within the vicinity of the woman of the woman and this mature egg have been released there is a high tendency that such an individual would get pregnant so do not think you can only get pregnant in once in a month because you'll be that is where you'll be getting it all wrong i really want you to digest it because so many people have been asking about and how long does ovulation last they want to know and that's why i just came up with this video so ovulation lasts for just a day that's 12 to 24 hours and it should be properly utilized for couples who are trying to conceive and for those who do not want to get pregnant now they can also avoid or abstain from unprotected intercourse during this period or period before ovulation so that it won't lead to pregnancy Thank you. If you are yet to subscribe, please kindly hit the subscribe button and also like and 